Hello music producers and welcome to CEO Nation Z. In this exciting video, I'm going to be sharing with you why and how you should citing your reverbs and your delays in the FL Studio. Now, there are so many reasons why we do this, but the major reason and the most common reason is to create space in our mix. Now, many times reverb, uh, we use them for like just some extra effect and to like, like create space, yes, in our mix. But sometimes when we want a large effect, sometimes that reverb actually takes up more space than is required of it in the mix. The same with delays. So the way we um, achieve this and the way we, the way we clear out the mix and make things not sound clashy is by citing those reverbs and delays with the original sound. Now, most of the time, this technique is used on vocals to create space and um, clarity in the vocals. But this technique can also be used in a lot of other forms. And I'm going to be showing you how I use this technique on just a melody that uh, sits in the chorus. And I'm going to be showing you this without the effect, without the sighting effect, and also with the sighting effect, so that you can see the difference that this creates in the context of the whole mix. So this is the effect right here. This is the two melodies. Actually, they're made up of two sounds. You can see we have the chorus sharp and we have the chorus a perk, the chorus percussion. And then we also have the chorus delay here, the chorus reverb, and then the chorus master bus. In my previous in the previous video, I showed you how to create bus channels in FL Studio. The idea, the technique used in that video is what I actually use in this one. So if you don't know how to create bus channels in FL Studio, please go ahead and check that out and then gather the information right there and then come right here so that you have more knowledge and understanding on what is going on right here so first of all we have this like i said the whole this whole chorus melody is made up of two different sounds the sharp and the perk these are just the two sounds and then these two sounds are now connected individually one is connected both of them are connected to the delay and the reverb and then four of them these four are all connected to the master chorus master bus here which then connects everything back to the main master channel right here so as you can see these green lines on the you can see one is connected to the delay, one is connected to the reverb, and the other the last one is connected to the master. Same thing with the prec, the delay, master, delay, reverb, and master. Then the delay is connected to the master, the reverb is connected to the master, and then the master, all these four are connected to this master, which is the master bus channel, which is then connected to the main master where we can hear all our audio. So let me show you the effects without the sighting. <laughs> As you notice, everything is sounding so muddy. Everything is sounding so congested together. It is not clear at all. But when I on when I turn on the side chains, you notice that it becomes more visible and it becomes more more clear. Now, in the context of the whole mix, you're going to notice this a lot more without the effects. We we'll notice that the whole sound becomes so muddy and so congested together. And that is not sounding nice at all in the ears. But once I clear everything out, on turn on the side change effect, it becomes more clear and becomes more pleasant to listen to. Right, so that is why we do it. We do it mainly just to create clarity and space in the mix. Creating this um, effect is actually not that difficult. It's actually a very straightforward process and it's very simple. All you need to do is you have your main melody, vocal, whatsoever you want to add the delay or the reverb to. You have it right there. Then you have the delay and the reverb on separate other channels on the mixer. So for example, let's say I want to add another reverb to this. Let's say I want to add a reverb. Let me just add another one. Um, to channel 26 let me go ahead and add the delay here let's use delay 2 for this all right so what you do is that you want to select that main melody or vocal whatever it is
please if you aren't subscribed to this channel please do hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you'll be notified when i upload new videos just like this for you till we meet again stay safe guys and see you in the next one